Hi, South Afrikaan viewers. I'm Amira and I'm the founder of It's a Vibe. Since we're in lockdown, I can't spread joy through It's a Vibe gift boxes. However, I really want to continue spreading joy and positivity in this difficult corona time. While our parents may be better equipped with knowledge and information on how to deal with the pandemic, I want to shine light on how the kids are coping in this unprecedented period. When other teens listen to this interview, they realize that they're not the only ones going through this difficult period and they get different ideas and perspectives on how to make the best use of this period. Lastly, whenever you're feeling low or unwell in these times, what coping mechanism or an activity do you use to get through this? Sathika was dealing with Corona herself and it was really hard for her because her family had it too. So I'm here to ask her about the challenges she faced while being in lockdown with COVID from a teen's perspective. She will now share her experience with all of you out there who thought you were going through this alone. I'm here to make you feel comfortable and spread positivity and hope. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. So let's get started. Um, Having tested COVID positive, has this impacted you more physically or mentally? I think honestly, it depends on the type of person that you are. For me, it was both because I'm the type of person that likes to exert themselves physically and is very mentally, well, my mental health kind of mostly depends on my social interaction with people. So it was quite hard for me. And I think physically it was much harder because um, I had a lot of symptoms, so I had a cold, I had a cough, I had fever, I had a lot of body ache and I was tired like all the time, like there was one period of time that I didn't feel like I just wanted to sleep and um, being tired just like came with its entire new like area of like for problems and stuff like that and mentally I couldn't meet people that meant like the world to me like a lot of my friends were like out there doing whatever they had to do and it kind of made me feel excluded and left out because I was stuck at home doing nothing with with my family obviously but it was a lot more difficult being alone without the people that I depended on and it was also very co like codependent so if I was um, my mind would be like go for a shower, go do this, go do that. I want to talk to my friends and stuff like that. But my body would just be like, I have no energy. I can't get up. I can't go to the shower. And I can't even talk to people because all I want to do is sleep. So for me, it was both physically and mentally draining. And it must have been really hard for you because your family also had COVID, right? So it must be really hard for your parents and your little sister. Yeah, it was really hard. So, um, what are some of the learnings that you would like to share with others who may be in a similar situation? I feel like if you have COVID, just like take rest. Don't exert yourself because it gets scarier if you exert yourself. Um, I'll give you an example. When I was, the first day that I had Corona, the doctor told me you don't walk for more than six minutes, even in your room. So it was only my sister and I and my parents didn't have it yet and I was like you know what I'm going to walk around I'm going to have a dance party with my friends on house party. So I was dancing and just suddenly I couldn't breathe. Like it, it's really, I mean nothing happened obviously like but like it was kind of scary because it was like 
you get so tired so fast and when you over exert yourself when you have corona it like makes you feel so claustrophobic and full so it was quite scary because i couldn't breathe so take rest and sleep and don't take advantage of that time that you have to yourself because i feel like a lot of people will be like if i'm alone i'm isolated i can do whatever i want but once you reach that quota of your level and your exhaustion then it's just like game over it's it's really scary and it makes you put like the times in half to yourself yeah don't take advantage of it and be really careful because it could become bad at any point in time so there are numerous other teenagers who are also covid positive right does yeah. this make you feel any better that you're not the only one in this difficult situation i mean obviously i feel like a lot of people are going through it with me and i don't i'm not going through it alone but i also kind of feel bad because what i went through i don't want anybody else to go through it so to some extent yes it does make me feel better but then also no because i don't want anybody to go through that but like it makes make you feel much better that there's that like a community of people out there that are that went through the exact same thing so it does not make you feel a bit like okay i'm going to be okay yeah yeah it does it does for sure so was it hard knowing that your family had covid and it could have been really serious yeah i mean obviously i was very scary again because in the beginning only my sister and i had it and we were isolated in this one room and at that point it wasn't that scary because a lot of people talk about how it's much easier for kids to recover so it wasn't that scary but then one day my mom just like walked into my room and i was just like mom you're going to get corona like what's what's happening she goes even my da- even like dad and i have it so i i feel like i didn't realize until after i got over with it that there was like this gutted feeling inside me like inside my gut i was really scared for them because for elder people it's much harsh much more harsh i guess and yeah so at the some point yeah and you have a little sister so yeah that sanana i think my little sister was probably the most scared amongst all of us and it was kind of scary for her because she's very vulnerable she's very vulnerable person So I hear that you feel very weak and fatigued after COVID. How did you cope with that, and how did you manage? It? Um, I think sleep was the most important part of it because and eat. So I used to sleep and eat all the time, like nonstop. If I woke up, I'd be like, okay, I do school because my school new term had just started. I did school and then after school in between my classes I'd go to sleep then I'd wake up eat something in class go to sleep again after class and after school I'd eat lunch again more eating and then I'd go back to sleep and in the afternoon I'd go for a walk outside and yeah then just sit in bed talk to friends and stuff so was it hard just you know concentrating in class because you wanted to sleep you were just tired it was really hard but i think the teachers made it easier on that part cuz the teachers were aware that i had corona and then they uh, keep asking me if i was okay and then they told me that if you need a break take a break and join back in like 5 minutes so yeah so you it was pretty been, hard. you must have been watching a lot of netflix and tv shows so do you have any recommendations for me so i kind of binged like three seasons of the friends of friends because i hadn't watched it and i started watching it with my mom so the friends is one that so that you should definitely watch and then a movie would probably be this movie called shatter island i watched it with one of my friends on netflix party and it was really amazing so have you developed any new skills during lockdown or do you intend on developing any skills in the near future so i'm trying to get into playing the piano but i'm not sure that that's going to work really well because there's a lot of other stuff going on and as for what i've developed during having corona uh would probably be a lot of communication skills because when you get stuck with, with like the same four people then it's just like really you learn adapt to their habits even if it is only for two 
do you feel you have become closer to your family during lockdown with all you have done like because all of you went through the exact same thing yeah we have i mean before lockdown and before corona at all prob- my family probably didn't know anything about my life and my sister was a complete stranger to me and i guess being together and being confined in the same place only the three of us four of us made it much easier for me to approach them made them much more approachable and made that made us much closer to each other and yeah but there were a lot of fights as well which is probably natural <laughs> <laughs> so what activities do you guys like do together so before we had corona like corona corona we play badminton every day and we'd have this game that if you drop the shot you do a squat so you play badminton and if you drop the shuttle then you take a squat and then you play again and whoever reaches 100 first loses 100 so it's the <laughs> yeah yeah it's the opposite way around cuz if you do a squat then that's one right if you drop the shuttle and as for having corona then we watch movies together and eating together obviously because that's all anybody did <laughs> uh so it's obviously more fun meeting your friends in person than face time with them so what are your thoughts on that i mean yeah but like i feel like when you before you get corona it's like i want to meet my friends i want to do this i want to do that but like when you get it it's like you'd rather be alone than give it to them like before i got corona like the day before i got corona i met two of my best friends and the next day i got to know i had corona so i think the thought of them having it and me giving it to them scared me more than the fact that i had it but then so, yeah and then you the mom and them must have made them happy yeah 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 that made me pretty ecstatic because i was like <laughs> i'd rather have them be safe than me be like with them that's because right. it's going to end and ultimately i'll get to meet them So lastly, whenever you're feeling low or unwell in these times, what coping mechanism or an activity do you use to get through this? Again, talking to a lot of people. Like I'm a very social person. I love talking to people. I go and if I'm ever feeling like claustrophobic or tired or like I need to vent, probably just go talk to people and like have fun with them and listen to them. Them talk to me is just like. Yeah. So, thank you so much for letting me interview you. I hope this was helpful for everybody and stay safe, stay indoors and stay masked up. Thank you. To know more about Delhi and the NCR, like us on Facebook and click on see first for latest updates and happenings in Delhi and the NCR.